Spotify Wrapped was released today and I am really delighted to share that this podcast made it to the top podcast charts in India this year. And also I just checked that my podcast grew by around a thousand percent over the past 11 months, which is great. And to be very honest, a pleasant surprise because being a very enthusiastic crypto investor, <laughs> I'm not used to seeing positive percentage change. <laughs> so, hello, welcome to a new episode of Mood Posting Hours Bhand Ki Baat. Today, we are going to be talking about cracking an interview. And before we get started, straight off the bat, I want to get one thing cleared that this is not going to be a very technical podcast where I am not going to talk about how to, you know, crack a coding interview or an, an IT interview. This is going to be as generic as it can get. And this is something that can be consumed or, you know, listened to by folks in already, you know, who are already working in jobs and also by college graduates or college freshers who are looking for the first job alike. I'll be covering a range of topics and many research ki hai for real like bahut mehnat chahti hai bhai <laughs> but anyway I hope this helps and uh, let's get started so first and foremost let me just give a quick introduction for those who don't know so that it's not like ki are pata nahi kaun gyan de raha hai it's like you know ki ha bhai is bande ko kuch aata hai i guess thoda bahut like his his ka gyan sun lete hai kar lete hai kya pata kuch ho jaye so um my name is harsh and i have been working at microsoft for around three and a half years this is the first company that i've worked for however i've appeared for many interviews and i've switched my roles within the company i also hold experience in taking interviews and i've assisted a few of my senior colleagues with their own interviews and stuff so Overall, मतलब थोड़ा बहुत आता है मेरे को. So before we even jump into the technical round and the aptitude rounds and you know the beginning of the interview process, let's step back and look at the first and very important part, which is the resume. Now, if you are a college student, your shortlisting process is most likely not dependent on your resume. In colleges, it's mostly done for the GPAs and uh, how much you have scored over the course of your semesters. And if that's the case, ideally your score should be around 7, 7.5 or 8. 7.5 or 8 will ensure that you get shortlisted for most of the companies. However, some companies do require 8 or 8.5 or higher CGPAs to you know to even let you appear for the interviews in which case it's bad luck but I mean if you can maintain that great but if not 7.5 and 8 should be good even even 7 is good but you would be missing out on a few opportunities and there would be rare cases where there would be companies which will shortlist you based on the in uh, resume that you have or the CV that you present however if you're an industry hire if you know if you're looking for switching jobs or you know you're changing your domain your interview or you know your shortlist process will be very much dependent on the resume you submit so yeah let's let's with that being said let's move on to the next part so making a resume to begin with i want to make sure that whenever you are creating your resume keep in mind that it should be ads friendly which is uh, ats is a software it's a system it's called application tracking system and uh, it what it does is it takes up or scans your resume and looks for the keywords that, that determine how perfect you are for that particular job role or whatever the requirements of the job role are. They match the qualifications that you hold. So that is a very important step. It also depends a lot on how well formatted your resumes are. There are enormous guidelines available to check if your resumes are ATS friendly or not. So before we go ahead, you know, just do a simple Google search and not talk too much about how to make your resume ATS friendly. 
but uh, do a simple google search and the first result that pops up just go to that and see how you can make your resume ats friendly and now if you're move uh, if you're making your resume there are tons of sites available that just do it for you you can just put in your details and download a copy or uh, there are multiple websites uh, jahan pe you can just download the template and uh, go ahead and replace the resume details yourself i don't think that's a problem okay i think you can definitely do that however personally i love it when i see that someone has created their own resume i have created my own resume and it is something that i have been uh, you know i have received compliments for from my interviewers and that just you know adds some sort of confidence right then and there the benefits of making your own resume despite uh, you know apart from uh, keeping it neat and you know maintaining a good design is that you know where you want to place what stuff the resume is not filtered based on the predefined template you can have your sections the way they are and i know that this level of customizable a uh, customization is also given by a different just these websites or you know you can just go ahead and edit the templates as per your need i find that you know when you're creating your own resume it just gives you a different sense of comfort and it provides you with a uh, uh, flexibility and it gives you more control over how you want to present yourself to the public because that is what your resume or your cv is it's a direct representation of you you are telling someone what they can expect from you and what you have to offer but if you do not know that yourself then or you know if if you are not presenting it in the right way in the best way or if you don't feel in control of how the other person sees you it defeats the purpose of building a resume in itself so that is the second is resume is a point that we are going to be talking about as we go or during this interview but when you get a job role right and you know you have a job description and it has three essential columns one is the skills required second is the qualifications required and third is the responsibilities or what you would be responsible for once you get into the job role your resume should scream that you are absolutely perfect for this job role when uh, you are going ahead and you are presenting that sheet of paper to someone they should take one look at it and determine that you know what this person is not just you know ha uh, like not just that this person has some experience or you know has some done some good work he or she or they meet the requirement that we have right now the amount of time that we'll have to invest in teaching this person something would would be significantly less and from a inter from an interviewer's perspective or from a company's perspective you are already a person who would require less of their investment and will also start delivering earlier than expected so that is a huge win in itself so when you look at a particular job description you have to look at the requirements you have to look at the skills and you have to sprinkle them around in your resume you have to look at your own past work and your own past uh, uh experience and you have to find out the work that resonates with the kind of responsibilities that come with this job description you have to show how you have uh, learned or worked with the skills or practically demonstrated the skills that they're asking for and the best way would be to also give out the results that this has had that you know if you can quantify your work that's great that uh, you for example are uh, applying for a, a manager position right and one of the a requirement is to ha- have some knowledge of power bi or excel so you can tell that you used microsoft excel to create a few reports that 
helped the overall business make better analytical decision and that showed a growth of xyz percentage if you can quantify the efforts you put into the outcome and you know convert it to the outcome you received or the impact it created nothing's better than that that is a good start right there and if you can go ahead and also show them what how you are you match the qualifications that they are looking for it's good but one thing that i have noticed is if your work has the experience that is mentioned in the skills and responsibilities you can negotiate with the qualifications i have cracked job roles that required experience much more than what i already have by simply showing that i know what they need the qualification is essentially a metric to see if you know because companies assume that if you have that amount of experience it justifies you knowing the stuff that they are expecting you to know however if you can show and demonstrate with results and data that you already are capable of handling the responsibilities that come with that job and that you have managed to uh work with the skills that are mentioned in that particular job role there's nothing better than that it's it's just a win people can go ahead and uh, you know they it's it's negotiable to tell them that you know i might not have this qualification but i do have what you're looking for so what is it you're going to be and i know it sounds very cocky but it it works most cases mein so there's that now coming to the uh, actual interview process the first round is generally the aptitude round which is uh, again done to shortlist it's mostly for the college uh, folks it's and uh, in, in you if you're already in industry higher if you've already worked for a few companies the aptitude round might not be something that you will have to appear for but the aptitude round is something that comprises of a few different sections it could be quant verbal logical reasoning di and also there might be questions related to the subject that you are already working on or you know uh, the domain that you are in so that is something that is tailored as per the requirement of or uh, the design of interview that a company is coming up with but this can as uh, ideally be it one of the biggest mistakes that i made early on in my uh, corporate journey or prior to my corporate journey was i focused more on the technical rounds that would come post this stage or, or this round and for the first few companies that i appeared for i failed to crack this aptitude round which i believe was a very stupid mistake on my end because how would i even go ahead and appear for the technical round and ace the technical round if i can't clear the first round itself i had to deal with a few rejections before i realized and i started preparing for it and the opportunities that you get are very limited so it would be a good idea to make sure that you are prepared on this front so prepare for the aptitude round well a lot of these exams are very similar to the exams that you have for cat so uh, you can easily find resources and start preparing on that you don't need to be too great at this these questions questions won't be too complicated but you need to make sure that you are up to the mark with uh, your preparations on these there are also a few exams that you can appear for there is a am there's an amcat exam so that is for example a mirror image of what it is like to appear in the uh, exams for these job interviews and a lot of these companies also consider amcat score so just might be a good idea to take a look so with that being said uh, you might or might not have a gd round post this a gd round or a group discussion round is a very critical round honestly the amount of anxiety i have and the amount of um 
un- like how uncomfortable i get with social interactions and debates uh, in in situations like these it's this is a nightmare for me i'm good at interacting with a bunch of folks that i know or i'm not competing with but the minute it comes into a place where everyone is about to speak just for the sake of it even if they don't have something to add to the conversation it is a uh, 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 an arena that i try to stay away from but that's essentially what gd is a few notes before you prepare for your gd your gd might be of two forms you know or two types one the interviewer comes up gives you a topic second the interviewer comes up and asks you for a topic you have to be prepared with this beforehand you need to have a topic at your hand that you can go ahead and pitch and also a topic that you're comfortable with this topic has to be non controversial you are not there to make a point you're not there to choose a stand on a political issue so you have to go there and just discuss or engage in a very healthy discussion with other candidates who are appearing with you so you have to choose a topic very carefully that does not have too much scope of disagreement so that the other folks and you do not engage in an argument or disagreements you have to come up with a topic which is a very thought provoking but at the same time very cliche and that that has enough points and enough value for everyone to add so for example and this is not something that you should use but i'm just taking demonetization as an example if i go ahead and give demonetization as an example i want to make sure that i'm aware of the points that are there with demonetization and other points that i want to that other will be others will be able to add a lot of perspective that perspective that others will be able to share a good topic could be the impact of cinema on youth for example it's a very cliche topic everyone will have something or the other to say and at the same time it is something that you can prepare for and it won't turn into a heated conversation because everyone is somewhere has an unanimous stand on it so that is there this shows that you have um some courage or some leadership capabilities you can take the first step you can take the stance you know you can carry the complete team forward a very good thing to go and next is once the topic is decided given that even though even if they are giving you or you are be given you will get some time to brainstorm with your complete forum and come up with a few arguments or you know just have a very healthy flowing conversation or maybe just sit with yourself and plan what you're going to say you have to understand that there are two very important opportunities that you get with every uh, gd round which is you can either start the gd or you can end or conclude the gd these are the golden opportunities and these are the you if 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 any way possible you should go for that you should go ahead and you should have mock gds and with your friends or even even on youtube and you should practice how you can start it off how you can convince the rest of the forum that you should be the one starting it off and if at all that's not possible you need to make sure that you're paying attention to what everyone is saying so that you can go ahead and form a conclusion that everyone agrees upon everyone feels heard you ha- or if if you fail to do either of those you have to put your topics or your inputs within the conversation in a way where you're not interrupting anyone where you have everyone else's attention and you are at the same time making sense so these are a few pointers for gd i will really 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 recommend going ahead and participating in a few group discussions with your own group of friends or if if you are interested or you know if a bunch of you are interested just let me know 
in the comments or anywhere and if i get enough participation i'll try to hold one or two mock gds myself to help you out so yeah i think after these you will most probably have your technical rounds where you are uh, you'll be tested for your knowledge in the domain and this everything that you have mentioned in your skills and in your technical competencies and everything that you have talked about on your exp for your experience this is where it gets tested the most um a few important points is that this is something which is personal to me this is something which i have learned is who drives the interview you or the other person when i am in an interview i am very carefully assessing my interview for the first few minutes engage in a conversation with them ask them about their experience and these rounds you should be like whenever you're going for these rounds you should be prepared and you should know about the uh, about the company and also about the job role so you should be aware of what this company does what the culture of this company is what the vision of this company is a few companies or interviews tend to engage with a useless about the company's founders and the rest of it which is to be very honest bizarre but since tumko paise chahiye tumko job chahiye ja ke padho uske bare mein and go prepared no harm right tumko char question ka answer rat ke jaane mein kuch kharabi nahi hoti but do read about the culture of the company it also helps you make an informed decision with whether you want to go ahead and work for that, for that company or not so yeah um with that being said engage in a conversation uh, for the first few minutes ask the interview about their experience working for the company and what their ex work experience has been prior to that as well in this time you'll get an idea about how uh good the interviewer is technically and if the interviewer is really really smart you have to be very careful about the terms that you tend to drop you can't go ahead and keep dropping um uh, of topics or you know you you can't just mention words in your answers that you don't know anything about because the interviewer is going to get that and the interviewer is going to grill you on that so very very careful on that and if you see that this interview is a little easy going you can go ahead and you can actually just whenever you are answering for example if i ask you what photosynthesis is right you can go ahead and tell me what photosynthesis is and you can talk a little about transpiration and chlorophyll and i might not go ahead and jump in those areas because i'll just assume that you know about it or it can also be uh, the case that i ask you about what transpiration and chlorophyll is to check whether you know about it or not it will be a general know how and i'll not ask you to dig too deep about that this is something that is very intuitive and you have to be there and get a gauge of what the situation is while you are appearing for the interview so this different this uh, largely depends on person to person and depending on how your interviewer reacts in the first few situations you go along and maintain that stance throughout the rest of it so that's there once you're done with your technical round you can go ahead and you will be shortlisted for hr rounds which are in some cases divided into two parts when one is mr which is managerial round and second is hr round before we jump that i also want to add a quick note about the technical interview part what you have to prepare might not be your best strength you need to learn about that but you also have to understand that a lot of the questions and a lot of what you will be asked will highly depend on what the requirement is what what the company's requirement is for for example you could be very well versed in 10 different coding languages or let's say you could be uh really good at cooking okay and uh, but if you're applying for the job of a pizza delivery guy it doesn't matter how well you know 
coding or cooking what they want to know is how fast can you drive and if you are a guy and the first thought that popped up in your head after listening to pizza delivery guy as a profession was pawn you need to get help you you need to get help this was a very serious conversation i can't believe you started thinking of pawn in the middle of it but yeah with that being said uh you have to be very careful that what doesn't matter tumne hazaar cheez kar rakhi hogi bhai tum zindagi aur tum maa ke pet se kaam karte aa rahe hoge it is a matter agar tumko uska relevant skills nahi aata you are of no use so learn the relevant skills and yeah there's that and wahi cheez resume bhi likhna like most companies to bata deti hai ki like most companies will let you know what kind of a technical interview it will be for you and what kind of uh, subjects will they grill you upon if not then just get an understanding of it by looking at the responsibilities also if you have a company that comes and does not give you a strict job description i'll tell you this easy hack go to that company's website look at their career site where the job descriptions would be listed search for the job designation that you are appearing for and you will find a very elaborate job description over there so if your company doesn't give you enough data or when you are receiving a call if you don't get enough data straight from the company or if your college does not provide you that this will be an amazing hack to go for so once you are done with that the next interview uh, rounds are mr and hr you might have multiple technical rounds too right it's the copy paste knowledge it's not like first technical round mein ye kara second technical round mein bol dena main dunga hi nahi it's it's going to be the same thing it's not like first technical round will a said second you'll be like maine ek baar de diya main dobara nahi dunga same thing applies i'm not going to talk about individual technical rounds but uh, next is mr and hr right mr round is managerial round where uh, so the combined goal of these two rounds is to test and find an answer to two questions is the candidate ready for the job role that they are appearing for is the candidate the right person for the job role that they are appearing for or if the job role is right for the candidate if you are qualified enough to do the job that they are ask like that they are providing and offering but you are over qualified that is a concern for the company because sooner or later you'll realize your worth and the company will be in trouble and to be honest if the company's culture is good and they are a reputed organization they wouldn't want to set you up for failure they wouldn't bring you in a way in a place where your potential will not be used to its fullest so they'll that that is one and the second part is if you are not qualified for the job to obviously bhai kya kar rahe ho yahan pe ja so they'll try to ask you things like to understand what your life has been so far not like mai bachpan mein bada hua no don't just don't do that it's it's embarrassing uh, talk about your professional and strictly professional life and uh, so and they'll try to understand what is it that you bring to the table and uh, what your understanding of the role is they will ask you uh, why you want to go for this role and that is your cue to answer what you think that role is so for example if you are appearing for again pizza delivery guy you have to tell ki why, and if they ask you why should they hire you for this role you should tell them that you know you have a real passion for बाइक राइडिंग आइडियली कोई पिज्जा इंटरव्यू वाली से इतना पूछेगा नहीं बट दैन अगेन एग्जाम्पल है हमारा विच इज़ अ बैड एग्जाम्पल बट ओके आई गेट इट सो इफ यूर अ पिज्जा डिलीवरी का है एंड यू कैन टेल की यू नो यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस इन डिलीवरिंग ऑर्डर्स तुमने इसके पहले फेड एक्स के साथ काम किया है और स्विगी के साथ काम किया है एंड यू कैन टेल दैम कि बाइक राइडिंग इज़ योर हॉबी तुमको बचपन में पापा ने के टी एम दिलाया था और तुम हारा लाइफ का पर्सनैलिटी ही वही है यू नो ग्रोन सिंस दैन 
एंड के टी एम के टी एम के टी एम के टी एम करते रहे तो ऑनेस्टली आई जस्ट फाइंड के टी एम डूट्स अनोइंग सो दैट एंड इवन इफ यू हैव लाइक अमेजिंग इवन इफ यू आर अ मैनेजर ऑफ अ पिज्जा फॉर्म यू डोंट गो एड एंड शो दैट ये तुम्हारा फ्लेक्स करने का जगह नहीं है यू नॉट देयर टू इम्प्रेस दैम यू आर देयर टू गेट दैट जॉब देर इज अज डिस्टिंक्शन सो दैट सो and everything you say should just speak that hey you know what i understand the job role that you're looking for and i am the person that you need to hire and because this is the only thing that i'm passionate about or my job nahi mila i'll not be able to do anything else if you have to pretend to be like that then they'll ask you about what is it that what you want to do 5 years from now very 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 important question they basically want to check if and you know i know a lot of jokes were made on this but the correct answer to what you want to do 5 years from now or where do you see yourself 5 years from now it should be something that aligns to the career path that you're going for for example if you are appearing for the job role of a software developer and they ask you what you want to do 5 years from now where do you see yourself 5 years from now they want to check if that your expectations of wh- where you will be in your life is aligned with the career path that you're choosing right at this moment or let's say if you were saying that if you're appearing for pizza delivery guy uh, as a job role what they want to check is ki agar tu aaj pizza delivery guy ban jayega 5 saal baad if your aspirations are somewhere around being the manager of a pizza shop or being the transportation head for a pizza shop or the complete or person who handles the complete day to day delivery operations of uh, the pizza shop then that is a green flag that is something that tells them that this person's aspirations and uh, goals are very much aligned with the step that they're taking right now सो दैट वो होता है वो करना होता है आंसर ये नहीं कि पाँच साल बाद कहाँ देखते हो तुम्हारी बाहों में नो दैट इज दैट इज नॉट वर्थ द लुकिंग फॉर थोड़ा लॉजिकली इसको आंसर कर देना बट या आफ्टर दैट दे आस्क यू क्वेश्चन अबाउट स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेसेज ऑनेस्टली यू कैन गो एड एंड से लेजिट वीकनेस एज लॉन्ग एज इट डजेंट कम एड एंड इंटरफेयर विद द जॉब रोल दैट यू रिपेयरिंग फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ अगेन फिज डिलीवरी का तुमको बोले कि तुम्हारा स्ट्रेंथ क्या है यू शुड बी से ना कि मतलब यू आर वेरी वेल अवेयर ऑफ द डेमोग्राफिक ऑफ योर कंप्लीट सिटी और यू नो यू नो द रूट्स वेरी वेल यू नो द शॉर्टकट्स रियली वेल यू यू कैन टेक द बेस्ट रूट्स टू रीच अ डेस्टिनेशन इन द फास्टेस्ट वे बट देन इफ दे आस्क यू फॉर अ वीकनेस यू वॉन्ट गो अहेड एंड से कि और यू वॉन्ट गो अहेड एंड से कि ब्रो मेरे को ना बाइक से बहुत डर लगता है कभी कभी एक्सीडेंट हो जाता है दैट्स नॉट योर वीकनेस दैट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर वॉट यू कैन से इज कि यू डू नॉट हैव ग्रेट कुकिंग स्किल्स और यू सक एट समथिंग विच इज नॉट रेलिवेंट टू द जॉब दैट यू आर अपेयरिंग फॉर दैट्स परफेक्टली फाइन and it also shows that you're very honest if you just go ahead and say ki bhai mera weakness ye hai ki main bahut care karta hu no just 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 hum chutiye baithe hai kya jo tumhara interview le rahe hain hame pata nahi chalta kya tum kya bol rahe ho like do you do you really think ki tum apni strength ko apna weakness pata ke uh, hame present kar doge aur hame bolega are ye kitna smart banda hai that's that's not how it works that's really not be candid be true to yourself and us इंट्रोस्पेक्ट एंड सी कि क्या है तुम्हारा वीकनेस एंड एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू आवर जॉब वी आर गुड सो दिस इज द एम आर एच आर एंड या आई थिंक दिस इज इट लाइक अगर यही सब फॉलो करते हो तो यू वुड बी गुड टू गो जस्ट फ्रेम योर रिज्यूम इज अलॉन्ग दीज राउंड मेक श्योर दैट वॉट एवर यूर ट्राइंग टू show yourself as during your individual rounds that is the same person that's there on the sheet of paper they need to like you as a person and then they need to like they need to see that 
there is not too much difference between the person they just met and the person that was on the paper that is it so i hope i have not missed out anything but if i have to kar kya sakte hai bhai agar tumko pata hi hai maine kuch miss out kar diya to tumko pata hai na tumko paas tumhare paas knowledge hai na aur agar bakiyon ke liye itna concern ho to comments mein bata do ki oh her she missed this out and ha bas ओवर स्मार्ट मत बनना बस कमेंट्स में कि अरे हर्ष तू क्या ये ज्ञान दे रहा है तू तो ये छोटी सी बात भूल गया दैट जस्ट ब्रेक्स माई हार्ट सो बट नन द लेस आई होप दिस वॉज हेल्पफुल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट द करियर प्रोग्रेशन इन आई टी इंडस्ट्री यू कैन गो एड एंड रेफर टू अ प्रीवियस पॉडकास्ट ऑफ माइंड एंड एंड इफ यू नीड अ पॉडकास्ट ऑन हाउ टू क्रैक द कोडिंग इंटरव्यू और an interview in it industry just let me know drop in comments and if enough people are interested maybe that could be our next episode not next i have something fun planned for the next episode but eventually so all the best and if you are listening to this episode at a later stage before your interview all the best i hope you do good This is your host signing off. See you in the next I mean <laughs> talk to you in the next episode. Bye bye. Hold up.